Cybot. All right, finally, we're going to introduce Cybot. Talk about this. Who is new? What is new? Well, new debuted in Take Two as one of the three secret characters. To get to him, you had to win 50 fights in a row. Hey! And he started off as just a black silhouette of a ninja. He could do Scorpion's Harpoon. He was just a secret character. But in later games, Trilogy, Ultimate MK3, some of the home versions, then MK4, the home versions, and, and on and on, he became more fleshed out, more lore, more moves. I think a lot of long-term fans will know that in the original timeline, he was Sub-Zero. Killed by Scorpion in the first tournament, Quan Chi brought him back to life as this ghostly wraith or Ooh, revenant. Quan Chi. Mm -hmm. And he was a member of the Brotherhood of the right. Shadows, and he had his shadow powers. Mm -hmm. In the new era, things are a bit different. This time, he's been chaos pilled by Havoc. He is Shut the front door. Chaos pilled. Of chaos. And so, you know, his power set is very similar. He saw the shadows, portals, but he's way more of a chaotic cleric of chaos and true believer in anarchy instead of the kind of dark arts Quan Chi stuff. Mm, right. And of course, play Chaos Reigns to see the expansion and see how old Vihan adjusts to this change. <laughs> right. Love Not it. well. <laughs> Not well. Not no. Well. All right, so, so let's, let's do it. So let's go into his gameplay. Let's start with his normal attacks, which almost every normal attack he has... He That's like a dial in. If you're going to use it, you might as well use right. it. Right. They you are a use. true attack. Oh, is that up clone? Okay. Check out his throw. Oh, I love that little throw strike. I like even his little punches. Can you do a, do a sweep again? Absolutely. Bam. Is it necessary? It's, it's so good. Really good sweep. Really good. I mean, the uppercut just covers all the air space right. you need. And so a couple moves I wanted to go over with this forward one, which is a pretty decent advancing mid. It's pretty quick. He has different variations from it. Hold on, real quick. I wonder if he, if like, uh, you know how an MK11. It's gonna sound weird to say this. Does Noob Cybot in this game have a nose? Cause you know an MK11, uh, when you did like a fatal blow or fatality on Noob, he had like no nose. He was like a, he was like a mummified face with no nose. Is that the same thing here? I I, I don't know why that popped into my head, but that, that's a funny thought. If that's the same, if they if they kept that. to go over his back three, which is a low. He can combo into moves. And then lastly, his forward three, which is a pretty quick overhead that slots them down, so you can mix it up. And even if you just notice, like, his shadow in comparison to normal roster shadows are not the same, right? Like, yeah. it's kind of like this little... Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's actually pretty. That's a cool a detail. It because it's going to be gameplay relevant. What? Not just that Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So let's go over his special moves, because it is extensive. Off the top of my head, I think he may have the biggest list of special moves in the game. Maybe up there with, like... Me. Probably. Was, yeah. So let's start off with the classic. One of the first special moves he ever had is his teleport slam. He teleports in, drops them. That's quick. The EX version will pop them up through a portal. Mm -hmm. This is a great anti-zoning move, a great mobility tool. You can jump back and do it. You can jump forward. Catch you by surprise. Very quick. It's pretty much exactly as it's, it's been for 30 years. It's what you expect out of the new. Now you exactly. move, I got you. That move yep. never tilted me ever. No. <laughs> <laughs> then let's go over arguably his second most iconic move, the ghost ball. Ooh. And this is a projectile that's changed many times in the life of MK, and I think this might be the coolest version yet. So, the ghost ball is pretty slow, but if it hits or they block it, they get this green chaotic effect on them. Mm -hmm. And this primes him to detonate it, oh. which is a pop Ooh, and bison, so, baby. Once he's got it on, you can see it last quite a bit of time. At any moment, you can detonate it and then get a full combo. Very cool. And remember, that's on hit or block that they get primed. He also that, that happens on block? It still has to be punishable on block, though, right? There's no way that you're keeping that safe, let alone plus. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, in this game, a lot of moves that should be negative are plus on block, so who knows? <laughs> also has an EX version, where once you do it, the clone starts summoning it. Oh, that sneaky clone. Noob is free to move around, and then any time, you can let it go. And remember, on block, so Noob could be doing block strings, 
setups, knockdowns, stuff like that, and the clone is waiting to do it. And you'll notice the aura lasts a while. It does last quite a while. Another alternate thing of this is there's an EX version that detonates that you can cancel as soon as the regular ghost ball hits. So he can Ooh, that's pretty cool. use it almost like a pop-up projectile. That does take two bars, so it's, you know, pretty expensive. That takes two bars, but Sento only takes one? That's insane. Expensive to use, but it can be pretty effective for your combos. The next move I want to show is a classic, probably like one of the classic MK9 moves, his portal. Mm -hmm. It goes up, it comes down, big combos, and you have a close, medium, and far version. Keep them guessing. And yeah, you gotta keep them guessing. And when you have slower projectiles, like Luke Cybot, one of the things the opponent's gonna wanna do is their projectile, mm -hmm. which is gonna be dangerous because of the move we showed at the beginning. That's that is so scary. fast, man. Now, I don't even know if it was that fast back in MK11. Games, like MK9. The Slide. Running Man. Oh, Running Man. And there you go, it's back. He does a ninja run. Throws them out with that tackle. And the EX version pops them up. Collect Insane. Ninja pop up. Then, you were about to say it, the slide. Mm -hmm. Now here's something really neat. Some of his moves, when he uses the clone, the clone will be go away because it has to return. Look at his shadow. Get a good look at there. When you do the slide, the shadow's actually gone, and when it comes back, that's when it's fully loaded. Oh. Now, some of these moves, if you don't have the clone, will actually change. Oh. Without oh, clone, that's sick. Classic Sub-Zero like slide. So you can do a slide after a slide? Exactly. Nice. His buddy's not there. His pal's tagged out. Cool. Now you're putting yourself closer to them. You're not yes. Because the, the regular, the, the, the noob cyborg slide is almost like a projectile. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Let's go over a couple other moves because he has even more like pop ups and moves. These are the kind of zoning moves. We'll go over some of the up close moves. Great. Down back three is this ninja kick where they work together. EX version pops them up even better. And he can get a combo. And then he has down back four, which is the opposite a low kick it'll trip them the ex is his armor so his armor he's not going to get like a full combo it's not like the best reward in the world but you're never going to complain about having a good armor no no nobody complains about that and that's all of his grounded moves what, what about the air what yeah. about the air well, the there's suspense a lot more because he has multiple different dive kicks so let's what? start he has an air dive kick where he sends out his clone, and you can see this has a decent amount of cooldown. This is another one where, on cooldown, he himself. That's so cool. I, I like that. That's a cool little detail. He also has a straight dive kick. He goes straight across. What the fuck? He can do that for jump kicks. He can do it as a preemptive anti air. And then he has a downward direction. What the fuck? And if you EX it, they are staggered oh for a full combo. Nah, Noob Cybot's insane. There is ah. a major new mechanic that I think really separates this noob from other iterations. Kind of my favorite thing, actually. So it. let's go over Embrace Chaos. Once per match, you may have noticed he has this severed hand on his hip. It, it's very crazy and chaotic, a severed hand. Why? Once per match, he can bring it out destroy it, yell embrace chaos, <laughs> and now he gains access, access to a brand new special move. It's a low hitting homing projectile oh. that pops the opponent up. Oh, yeah, see, I now can't do yeah, it. Yeah, because you did it once, match, right? right? You have a certain amount of time. Yeah. Yes. So he gains access to that move, and that's a tracking move. It's not close to moving far. And then all of his shadow special moves. It's tracking, so is that like unblockable or, or what? That's insane, okay. The ability to throw the opponent into a portal That's so for cool. a pop-up. So his slide, regular, non-EX, becomes a pop-up. All of his dive kick moves. Dude, I can't wait to see the fucking combo monsters on Twitter use this shit, man, because I know for a fact I'm not going to be attempting any of these things, man. <laughs> Even his throw? So he has easily the largest No fucking way, that's so sick! Starter move in the game. Including his throw, obviously. Right. But 
mind blown that Shadow is not coming back. What? For the rest of that round, oh. all of his Shadow attacks are disabled. So back forward four is only just Oh, now. okay, okay. That's that's like the So that's like the high risk, high reward that we're talking about. So now you can't so like say like first round you zone with noob sideball. You know, you're throwing slide, you're throwing, you know, running man, you're doing dive kicks. Second round you pop embrace chaos and you lose it. Going to the final round, you don't have sideball anymore, so now you're basically just noob. That's actually pretty cool, man. I actually really like that. That that makes noob sideball probably the most complex character in this game. Probably like mechanic wise and maybe gameplay wise because I think I still think Homelander is still like hard to use He's like mechanic like mechanically he's like, you know Yeah, you're getting carpal tunnel using fucking Homelander, you know But here it's more of like a, okay When do I want to use like he because obviously you don't have to use embrace chaos at all You can still win perfectly fine without ever using that move. It's just that now you know, when you pop Embrace Chaos, you basically get a combo starter from uh, any fucking move with Saiba. It's so cool. Says a nuclear option. Yes. The rest, this string, no longer, we can no longer finish it. We have to do a shorter version. Look at his uppercut. It's a standard uppercut. You think you can finish the round? You bet. Look at his sweep. It's just a regular sweep. So to be clear again, once per <laughs> game, you can use it. It works for that round. And once the timer is done, for the rest of the round, he will not have access to his class. But there will be some monster combos if you can get off. Right. Okay, so what they're basically what Steph is saying is that if you use it in the round, okay, now that I'm thinking about it. No, okay, I just I just realized. So let me let me just retract what I said a bit ago. So for the round, you can't use Cybot, but you but after that round, you can't use Embrace Chaos anymore. Okay, that's pretty cool. Essentially, once per match, you decide to become kind of the combo master in the game with the most amount of options and access to this very, very strong, screw your neutral, I do what I want move. But the price you pay, if it doesn't work, if you don't win, is you're spending the rest of that round in a significantly weaker, lesser state. And not, not helpless. Most importantly, you no longer have a cool hand. Dude, on his you. dive kick is so fast. And you've lost your good chum, your buddy, and your lonely. Right? Oh my goodness. What else we got? Well, we have a fatal blow. Yeah! And his uh, into the attack that leads into it, is also very strong. It's a tracking low, so you want to go into it? Well, let's do it. A tracking low is insane. Oh man, that's gonna suck if you're playing a zoner, bro. Like I can already see Reiko players getting mad at that shit. They fucking, they it just fucking like the second his hand moves to throw out those those shurikens, he gets hit with a tracking. I'm assuming full screen fatal blows and insane. Oh, such a brutal one, man. That's probably one of the most brutal really cool. fatals in the game. I just kind of want to see it again. You want to see it again? I do. I do. Tyler? Yo, definitely. Wait a minute here. Dad, did you catch that? No. It ain't going. What? Ho hold on. Is that a sector buff? What the fuck? That's a sector buff. Oh, look at that. What the fuck? He shoots a rocket? Yo, that's sick. So Motaro is now is not is not the only uh, cameo that has an extender for the uh, Fatal Blow. Because if, if you don't play Motaro, uh, when you use Motaro and you activate a Fatal Blow, I think it's if you just hold forward uh, instead of like the character. You know, like for me, Katano without her fans with Motaro, he doesn't like he like lunges at them, punches at them, and that's how you start the Fatal Blow. But for here, it's fucking Sector shooting the rocket. What the hell? That dude, that's like full. That's full screen. That's full screen. I do. I do. Yo, Wait a minute here. Dad, did you catch that? No. They didn't go anywhere that time. Cameo Sector has a special fatal blow end. Nice, dude. Sector got a buff. He will shoot a rocket, so it becomes a projectile. 
fatal blow attack. And so that works with everybody because it's Correct, cameo. because it's cameo. It's very similar mm. to Motaro. Right. What I just say, Motaro? That's so sick. Cool. All right, so that was Doom Cybot. Very this excited. This has been a lot. This has been a lot. I gotta say, uh, we we do. I do want to mention something. When uh, on the twenty fourth, we will have Twitch drops are coming back. Ooh. So make sure you watch some streams during that day, and you'll see uh, you'll get some different different talents and whatnot from mm -hmm. just watching streamers. Want so make sure make sure you're signed up with that. Most importantly, yes, sir. Birthday shout outs. Nope. Don't forget to pre-order. You get your pre-order skin. Yes. UMK3 Sub Zero, let's go. Second most importantly, birthday shout outs. Of let's go. Aaron, skip that. Kind of strange is coming out. Dan Ford. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dan. Don't know who the yeah, fuck you are. Coming out really soon. We're super excited. Before we go, as always, QA has been kind enough to put together an awesome noob cybot fight directly after we're done talking. So, can't wait to see you in Chaos Reigns, and can't wait to see you at the next combat cast. Woo! Let's do it, man. Let's see. So, it's obviously going to be Noob Cybot, but... Oh, Havoc. Okay. Tell me about this timeline of chaos. I refuse to give you any ideas. Damn. That was pretty insane. He's just, like, walking off, and Cybot takes a hit. Oh, wish you, Jinko? Uh oh, I can't wait to see you some noob cybot with Shujinko. Hey, give me ideas, bro, for when I play noob cybot with Shujinko. Come on. Well, that looks safe. Okay. Oh, that would have been so sick. Oh, that's super punchable on block. Okay. Oh, the reset. No. Oh, my fucking God. What a sick combo. What a sick combo that was. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to, Sorry, I have to watch that one more time. What fucking shoes, Jinko, dude? Oh, I also want to see if this actually wastes your Jinko bar. I had to watch that real quick. So that new string is, is, is what's called. Uh, uh, uh. It doesn't waste cameo bar. That's broken. But this combo is, that was a sick combo. That almost did 40%. Okay, okay, dude. Okay. Damn, that pop was insane for Havoc. Ooh, what is that? What is that? That was new for, uh, for Havoc there. Did you see that? He got like a, like a aura around him when he did the uh, tether snap. Okay, so the, the what's it called disappears on hit when he gets hit. Nah, nah, dude. What an insane combo. That was so sick. Oh, drop the combo. the brutality okay brutality. Noob no bro noob cybot look 
fucking insane, bro. That Chujiko combo was sick. He fucking launched him in the air. Uh, let, let me just watch that one more time. That was fucking sick. Let me watch that combo one more time. That combo was insane. That combo was sick, man. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Portal. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh. And obviously, you could probably still do more after that combo. Man, dude, that was... A okay, so after that string where... um. Cybot grabs him and goes for the dive? Or right, hold on, I think that's from the uh, Running Man. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that goes into Running Man, and from Running Man, before he slams down, Noob, so uh, Noob actually recovers fast enough to actually combo from that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Into the new Shujinko move. Uh, 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 uh. Nah, that's insane, dude. And of course, the brutality comes from the ghost ball uh and bison effect explosion uh 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 yo nah bro noob cybot looks absolutely wicked noob cybot looks absolutely wicked man he looks wicked, bro. Oh wow, what a what a lengthy fucking video this might be. I might have to split this into two. One that uh you know shows off the um you know the new updates, you know, to towers and invasions, and then the second video just be showing off noob cybot. But bro, noob cybot looks insane, bro. And especially with Shujinko, they just gave me some ideas for when they when he drops, man. They gave me some combo ideas for when he drops, bro. And I'm definitely going to be using that. And that's the one thing I was talking about with Shujinko was, was his new Apep Punch into Conquest Kick move? If that cost a cameo bar, and it doesn't. That's very, very strong. Um, and then they didn't show it. I mean, they did show it uh, in the little clip, but they didn't show it in the actual match where Shujinko can now go from kick into this overhead chop, which was which is pretty cool. And I'm assuming just like, you know, uh, punch the kick, it's not going to have any, uh, it's not going to require any uh, cameo meter, which is pretty sick. Um, but I'm hyped, man. I'm hyped for the new season, bro. I, I want to see the, I can't wait for the uh, balance patch to see, you know, some nerfs, some buffs to, to some characters. Because trust me, a couple characters need some buffs and a couple characters need some nerfs, you know. Um, but that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy anything to like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy White Album. I will see you guys next time.